what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into our first ever session of AFK Journey. Now, AFK Journey is actually the newest member of the AFK family, and it is the first casual open world RPG powered by one of the core production teams from AFK at Lilith. And of course, AFK Journey is actually the sponsor of today's video as well. Uh, now, the game is currently in beta. You can actually access this at the moment, but I have been given permission to play the game, and honestly, I've been playing for a little while to see if I enjoy it or not, and boy am I having a good time. Um, I typically don't take sponsorships from things that uh, I don't actually uh, enjoy and I've been playing this game for a couple of days now and I gotta say I actually do genuinely um, like it it's a very very casual game you can get into it at any point of the day it only requires a few minutes here and there uh, and you can jump in and explore the story it's a very story driven uh, world uh, and it's a really nice 3D experience, right? As you can see right here. Uh, I'm going to show you a lot more of the features that are in the game. Ooh, actually. Hang on. What is this up here? Uh, do I want to go down this place with the... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> little um, sketchy looking mage, or do I want to go down here? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see the sketchy looking mage. Yeah, let's go ahead and fight that. So, as we're in combat, you get to see uh, the combat is actually in instances, which I do kind of like. Uh, and there's auto battle with two times speed. There's a lot of quality of life. And as we entered combat, you might have noticed that, hey, wait a minute. There's like n absolutely no loading times and no loading screens. Uh, this game is absolutely seamless in terms of the uh, integration that there is. Speaking of integration, uh, I'm actually playing right now on the PC client. That's right, I'm not playing on an emulator. It's a straight up PC client and I really, really hope more mobile games start doing this because it is so convenient to just open up the game without having to boot up uh, you know, any emulator or anything like that and uh, just access it. Ooh, actually, I should have done this earlier, right? Uh, so here's the other thing. You see this barrel right here, right? I get to hold and it will actually blow up there. Um, I could have done that to actually delete the um, the, the uh, enemy I was fighting there without actually having to fight them directly, which is kind of nice. So let me go ahead and open up the treasure chest here. Yeah, so as you explore, um, AFK Journey is actually pretty bold in terms of creating something like this for the mobile platform. You don't really see this at all, right? Uh, and yeah, the world exploration is in 3D, uh, and it has a fantasy world with a really beautiful... Um, illustrations and art styles honestly really like it here Ooh, actually what is this um oh, you can post stuff here <laughs> that is pretty cool all right um i can actually just uh oh my god you can just yeah i'm gonna put this <laughs> <laughs> I remember this from like back in the day. Those of you guys are old enough in like middle school back then. I used to write this on like the whiteboards or chalkboards or whatever back then. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave that message. Okay, fantastic. Oh, that's a really neat little addition right there. I actually didn't know that that existed. But yeah, look at this. You can go around and just loot things. Um, and I'm, you can actually use WASD to move around. I'm using this little joypad on the screen because I don't want the clickety clackityness of the keyboard to, um, <laughs> to get in the way of my voice uh, here. And right now, I'm encountering actually what I think is my first puzzle. It might not actually be a puzzle. It might have just been an obstacle. This might actually just be a precursor to uh, something we might see later, which is kind of nice. Um, and yeah, that's the other thing. There are a lot of puzzles, various puzzles that are going to be scattered throughout the world that you can go ahead and explore. Uh, okay, alright, I see. Alright, Hamster Squad, we're going to be rolling in here. Uh, do we have the means of fighting this person? I think so, let's go ahead and fight him. Alright, so while we're fighting here, you get to see, um, yeah, so the in fights, there's indestructible walls and things. There seems to be little pillars here. I've never seen the pillars before, actually. So that is kind of nice. Um, and these obstacles actually require you to kind of move your team around into certain formations to be able to optimize it. There was a uh, battle I played earlier where I just got absolutely steamrolled because all my characters were in a straight line and we got bulldozed over by the enemy. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you get to... Um, 
there's there's things like uh, walking tiles. There's things like the boulders that I was just moving around. Um, there's also you know controlling beams of light and things to solve certain puzzles uh, and contraptions. It's really really nice. So actually no, can I nah no I don't want to fight you yet. Oh okay okay okay. There we go. We're gonna let him. Can we, can we set this thing off? No, we can't. Shoot. I want to set off that barrel to see it, uh, to show you guys what will happen. But yeah, look at this. This guy is on the left side right here, right? I can go ahead and actually move my characters around. Let's see what I want to do. I want to send my warrior down this side. We'll put a supporter with him. Let's send my hamster tank right here. Put my mage here and the hamster support there. Let's have him go fight. So look at that. Right, um, having that mage on the flank there, need to put a warrior, otherwise he would have wrapped around and would have been able to get behind my team. Alright, so there you go. And you can use the, you can use obstacles like these walls and boulders actually to your advantage. You see my hamster tank up there? He's taking a lot of damage, he might actually go down, but, um, yeah, he did his job, right, in terms of protecting the team. Down goes Chippy, oh no, poor Chippy, man. <laughs> There you go. He's still alive. He's still alive. There he is. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Um, the fact that there's so many hamsters in the game is just amazing. Uh, I'm all for it. I'm a huge support of this. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, I can't blow up that barrel, apparently. Looked a lot like the ones that um, we encountered earlier. Yeah, wish I could have blown that one up to show you guys what it was like, but yeah, look at this. You can just kind of traverse the terrain. You can come up here, right? The path is telling you to go over there. Your mission's over there, but... Players like me, you guys know, some of you guys are out there, uh, just like me, who um, ignore all of the... Ooh, actually, hang on. What are we getting here? There's an archive. Yeah, some of you guys are just like me, where you, you're like, screw the main story, let's go on all the side quests first. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, let's see, what is this? Temples repurposed, uh, tombs and stuff, grave robbers, great. Alright, that's the... Uh, that's what you like to see in a society, right? Ooh, we can move this. Let's see. Okay, move that there. I think I can just push this one here, right? We're still in the beginning of the game. It's going to be relatively easy to... Ooh, wait a minute. Did I... Uh, did I screw this up? Hang on. Got some treasures, but I can't move this any further. Uh-oh. Can I actually get to that treasure chest over there? All right, we got to maybe reset this. Can I reset it? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and move this down here, and now we can grab the treasure. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so there we go. Get out this way, and let's head on down here. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. We, we actually unlocked this cave. We never actually went in. I don't actually know if I can go in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can. Let's go ahead and explore this. So yeah, this uh, game really reminds me of these kind of... Um, dungeon crawlers like back then it was really enjoyable you just kind of go around the floors and you you kind of like ascend the floors right uh it's kind of reminds me of that and so i really really like the aesthetic of it as well uh we can actually get more units so this person this uh mage at the bottom of my screen down here the bottom middle um morale uh, Muriel? Morale? I'm gonna call her Muriel. Uh, just because it sounds better to me. <laughs> but Muriel here, uh, yeah, see, I think she's the one that launched all those, uh, fire, the flame pillars out. Uh, I actually got her through a summon, so we're gonna go ahead and test our luck on some summons as well. I saved a couple of them to show you guys. Uh, but let's loot this place first, grab a bunch of these treasures. Okay, and I'll also show you guys the awesome gearing system in this game, and I really wish more games just did this kind of system. Um, but for a casual game like this, it is fantastic, and as you guys know, as longtime viewers of the channel, um, you're aware of how gearing systems can be very a uh, huge deterrent for some people, right? So down here in the resonating hall, you have access to all of your characters. If you hop into any one of the characters, let's go to the one I summoned before, you can level them up with the click of a button, right? Super easy, look at this. One, two, three, four, right? Level 15 already really no hassle. Uh, there are some essential materials that you will need to get, uh, and you can farm those as well to, uh, to to promote them. And you can scroll through your characters right one by one, but what we're going to show you is this. The equipment in this game is so nice. Such convenience, right, is here. So you see that there's not equipment for each character, actually. There's just generic equipment for 
all the characters right here. So, um, up top we have all the support characters that are in the game. I have two of them, and just by cl clicking a quick equip, look, it just upgrades everything that should be upgraded. It gives you the best in slot gear that you currently have. And on the bottom, you just go through, cycle through all of your classes. You see here we have a warrior, so I'm upgrading his ring right there. Uh, upgrading that little uh, ring there too. So no equipment here for the rangers, and we have one for rogue, although I don't own any of them right now. But yeah, you see right here, um, absolutely brilliant! And yeah, less than what? Less than 30 seconds, I'm done re-gearing all of my units to their, um, to their max potential. You can also go ahead and equip artifacts, which I don't actually really have right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're, we'll get back to that eventually through our playthrough of this game. So let's keep on going. Actually, before we keep on going, before we enter that new area there, I'm gonna show you the tavern right here. So your characters actually enter a tavern. You can kind of AFK on the screen. The characters kind of interact with stuff in the background. It's really nice. The Emporium is here. We can go purchase some things, exchange your currency. Um, so we have like diamonds and things as the currency used to summon. This is an adventurer store where you can use this uh, kind of. A token right here, the coins, antique coins, and you have the recruitment store, so this is where you can actually uh, exchange this currency here, the Lyrical Echo, for summons. Now for summons, we can actually go to the Noble Tavern, and in here, uh, we actually have a couple things. This is the All Hero Recruitment, and then we have the Epic Recruitment as well. I have one summon for the Epics, and then I have two summons for the Normal. So let's go ahead and try out some Normal summons for us check out that summon animation, which is really, again, seamless, right? Everything in this game is super smooth. Uh, we got some blue floating acorns, so I think that is some enhancement materials. Alright, we'll take those. So we got with this one. Oh, okay! Purple? That's gonna be pretty good, right? Oh, that's very nice. So, Salazar? That is really cool. Alright, I don't think I've met him in the story yet. But he is a rogue, and I don't have a rogue, he's a Graveborn. So that might be something like a kind of a zombie, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Epicure recruitment now. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. You can actually guarantee that they're epic, okay, uh, after a certain amount of pulls. And you can see here what you can get. So you can get 15% for an elite hero, 5% for an epic hero. And then these are like the enhancement ingredients and things that you can also get from the summons. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a recruitment. Come on, 5%. 5% be with us, please. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if we got it. <laughs> nope, that is going to be an acorn thing here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunate. But, hey, we're going to get more summons throughout this little playthrough that we're going to do, and uh, this is not going to be the only video that I make on this game. Uh, we're definitely going to be playing it some more. Uh, so yeah, if you ever need to go back and check on your notes, there's a help section as well, which is very handy. And let's get out of the mystical house, and look at that, transitioned right back here. Ooh, there's a Miasma card. Let's go ahead and fight that thing. Gotta clear the miasma here. Uh, oh, actually, we can put this guy. Oh, we our formation is full. Do we need two healers here? Maybe we take out one of my supporting healers. I want to try to put this guy in. We'll see what he can do. We'll swap here. Tank will go there. We'll put the support unit and the mage in the back line. We'll put the tank and warrior up front. We'll put the thief kind of in the middle. Let's see how this plays out. Okay. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we're fine. Our thief's just kind of standing in front of everybody in there. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Um, we we'll probably put the tank in the middle there next time. Yeah, he's just moving ahead. All right, not bad, not bad. I like it. So, the thing with the battles, actually, the battle me uh, mechanisms in this game are pretty neat. I haven't uh, been able to show you one with uh, interactive environments yet. But there are interactive environments in combat as well as out of combat, right? You can blow up barrels and stuff to like one-shot enemies and things, or at least deal a chunk of health to them. Uh, but in combat, you can also do the same. And that's, uh, the interactive environments can actually hurt you as well. So you gotta be a bit strategic with it. But here we go, we unlocked a new area. And let's keep on exploring. Uh, let's see, go up these ramps here. Nothing over on the side. Ooh, actually, no, 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 there's something here. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight this guy for sure, he has a lot of loot. Alright, uh, okay, so see, here you go, we got another mechanism right here, it's called Double Cast, it's a buff tile, so when you're placed on this buff tile, it releases the ultimate, and, um, 
Phantom of the Hero released ultimate again. Ooh, hang on. So let's put the thief guy. Actually, no, let's put the warrior here. He, um, my warrior guy actually gets his ulti up pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and do something like this. Yeah, let's, let's put the um, hamster tank in the middle. Let's put him on the side. And right, we'll put the sports in the back. Yep, okay, so there we go. They're gonna move up here. Not bad. Oh, my thief's just kind of on his own. I don't really like that. Okay, let's see what we do. So we unleash the ultimate here. There we go. Good job, Valen. Right, and I think we, yeah, I think we did have a little um, mini ult there too. So yeah, look at that. Clearing this stage pretty quickly there. With the help of that little tile. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I love the little, like, little victory theme at the end and everyone walking. Gosh, it just reminds me of these, like, kind of, um, again, like, little dungeon-style games, but also, like, MMOs. Um, certain MMOs, uh, MMORPGs as well, that, that had things like that. Um, okay, so we have wall obstacles in this one. So you can see here, these guys are kind of protected on the left and right. The lower wall on the left, I think you can attack over, whereas the one on the right, I don't think you can. So I gotta be careful here. Uh, I'm gonna put my knight here, and we'll put the warrior there. We'll try to send the, the thief over as well. Gonna concentrate everyone kind of over on this left side, and we'll hope for the best here. But yeah, so my mage is on the left. She can actually attack over the wall. That's gonna be pretty good, but we gotta get through these guys pretty quickly. Hopefully I'm not gonna go down. It looks like my guys are dying though. That's not good. Oh no. <laughs> We're getting absolutely trashed here. Alright, come on Valen. Uh, sorry, Salazar, you can do it. Valen's dead. Um. <laughs> no, Valen's not dead actually. He's right there. He's right there. His HP was super, super low. I thought he was dead for a moment. Alright, there we go. We actually survived that. There you go, there you have it. I think I need to level up my characters a bit more. So before we proceed, and again, super, super easy. Ooh, actually, you're gonna ch show me the residence hall. Ah, okay. Very cool. So we can select a hand of resonance, select another resonance hero, and swap them. Ah, I see, that's pretty cool. So you can have units here and you can swap their levels around if you don't have the resources to invest in them at the moment. That's not bad. All right, let's upgrade our marksman equipment and let us go ahead and uh, level up some of these characters. So we might be able to get a additional skill. There you go. Uh, or additional stats here. Let's upgrade them to 21. Uh, when your characters reach level 11, you actually gain an extra skill. I guess at 21, you gain um, some more stats. You can see here, all of your characters have your kind of basic stats that you kind of expect from these types of games. HP attack. There's actually physical and magic defense in this game, because there's physical and magic attack, I guess. Uh, and you have attack speed, crit, and all of these other stats, right? Crit damage and everything. Uh, so there's a lot of stats to go along with this. And of course, when you're in combat, you want to try to have uh, more people from the same faction. It definitely helps out. We're just going to keep leveling up everybody here. There we go. Got some additional power. And we're just going to level up everybody. And look look how fast this is, right? I don't even need to cut this out because it's so quick. <laughs> the animation for the level 21 is actually the really the like longer than the actual upgrade process itself, right? But yeah, look at that. Hammy is absolutely adorable. These little hamsters in the game, man. Uh, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. No need to level up. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and back out of that for right now. And, oh yeah, Hammy, oh yeah, so he's in the Resonance Heroes, right? He's kind of taking the level of the lowest uh, hero in my party, I think. So if we level up here. Oh yeah, see, we got the Annihilation Blade. Um, I think that's a achievement or something there. Very nice. And let's go ahead and back out, and look, we're back on the road! Except we're going to the Mystical House. Ooh, okay, Mystic Collections here. There we go. Ah, okay. Very nice. So, this is actually just the kind of um, milestones and things that we can do. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and uh, continue going there. You can actually get a bonus overview. So you can get AFK uh, EXP earned. So here's one of the features of the game, right? Let me go ahead and get out of here. Uh, at the bottom left, you can click on this AFK symbol. 
and you can play the AFK stages, which I will challenge in just a second, and you can also grab AFK rewards, right? You can go ahead and click collect, and look, you get a bunch of gear, you get a bunch of um, EXP and gold as well, which can help you out, and that accumulates just when you're offline, right? So when you log in, uh, you know, a couple times a day, uh, you'll be able to collect those rewards. Let's go ahead and jump in here, though. I am gonna take um, Salazar and... I'm going to replace my healer here. I think that is probably the best play. Let's hide behind... Ooh, this is the one. See, th this big rhino guy on the other side? That's the guy that almost, like, just absolutely demolished my team. So we got to be careful. I'm going to place some of my heroes back there. All right. <laughs> Chippy, you're on your own. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Okay, I'm able to take him out. Last time I fought him, uh, I was not able to, and I, I died. I just got one shot. My entire team just died uh, instantly to him charging. All right, not bad, not bad. And so what you can do here is as you uh, advance through these AFK stages, your rewards you get while you're AFK, uh, while you're offline, essentially now playing the game actively, uh, increase. So you get more uh, over time. And I do like that. I do like that feature. And it auto-collects, right? Uh, once you get in, you just click it. Uh, grab everything. No need to go to a different menu or anything, just open up that little window, boom, get everything. And there we go, very nice. And so yeah, we are going to be advancing through, and look, we also have instant collections right here, so with your current level, you can go ahead and claim and instantly get max rewards. Very, very nice. And of course, there's a little cooldown timer, but uh, you have two free attempts every single day, right? That's pretty good. Oh wait, no, hang on. Nope. Let's do it again. That's not a cooldown timer. That's the uh, that's the timer for getting another free attempt. Okay, fantastic. So we got a bunch of resources now. Let us keep moving, and let's keep collecting these materials here. Now the other thing that you might have noticed is look at the shadows and stuff on the ground, right? Those are clouds, and they're moving around. Now, of course, you can't look up at the sky. Um, you probably don't want to look at the sun anyway, but <laughs> it's probably not good for you. <laughs> But um, this game actually has a dynamic surrounding. So as you're walking around, uh, there's going to be things like sunrises, sunsets, there's rain, there's sun. Um, and there's also seasonal uh, patterns as well. So spring, summer, uh, autumn, and winter. Okay, so story is progressing here. And another thing that I really love about this game is that it's fully voice acted here, right? Even the smallest of conversations, they're voice acted, and they just add so much more. Uh, and you also don't just have like a two-dimensional like JPEG that pops up on your screen that has text coming out. Um, fully voiced, and um, you have like 3D uh, like kind of sprites that show up. And the good thing about the characters in this game is they're not um, they're not little chibis, right? They're actually just full models of characters in the game, and I really, really love it. Now this guy is a boss, and I think I'm, I'm about to die here. Um, what do we do? How do I do this? I'm gonna put the hamster tank here. Let's put this guy here. Move my supports in the back. I'm a little scared. And let's go! Hope for the best. We're only slightly above the level of this boss. Oh no, oh no, he's attacking. No, Salazar! Salazar's getting not. Oh my god, he's getting absolutely bodied. <laughs> Salazar! Okay, there we go. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Our ult popped off. Beautiful. And we got it. We got it. Good job, guys. Alright, so we're still... Ooh, what is this? Last Twilight Fragment? Okay. Sure, I, I assume that we just have to pick up um, more of these. Yep, there we go. Look at that. I'm trying to repair this kind of mirror, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, that is quite poetic. <laughs> Let's keep on moving here uh, through the story. We'll play a little bit more, and then we'll probably call it a day uh, just to show you guys more of the world and just how the gameplay is. Again, it's very story-driven, and the fact that, again, look, every single character, even the small little minion dudes, are voiced, right? We came for Mr. Stewart and Lady Grey. Rest assured, children, Lady Grey has returned to- Lady Grey is back! Lady oh. Grey is oh, back! Oh, wait, we were supposed to go rescue her! Where is she? Your Excellency, oh, oh. thank you for your help. 
All right, Mr. Stewart. Thank you. Oh, wait, he's just going to give me one. Oh, wait. That is Lady... Oh. This piece of... Oh, yes. Wait, what? I'm not lying. To be more accurate, Lady Grey lives Oh, okay, I see. We have, we have to reassemble. I thought it was a mirror. It's a painting, right? So we have to grab all those. Then please tell her to come out and join us. Um, Lady Grey can't come out for the time being. <laughs> okay. So what's the this issue? This is known as the Last Twilight. In an accident, this relic was fragmented. Okay. We got here, all right, so I assume we have to find all the relics now. Took me to the spire. <laughs> How did this and we, we got to reassemble Lady Grey. Got it. Team. Spent 20 years trying to dis It's a pity we don't have the power of Dura's Tears. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Dura's Tears? Ah, uh, it just so happens that me, the protagonist, has Dura's Tears. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, oh man, that is Thank hilarious. You, one. Thank you for entrusting us with Dura's tears. Your task is complete. Lady Grey was right in choosing Jen. We also have a reason to find. That's right. Okay. For our grandfather's sake, we must find Lady Grey. I actually don't know about their motives. Um, all I know is that uh, they helped me out. They found me unconscious, mm -hmm. as all protagonists uh, are found. And yeah, they helped me There's out, no so I am currently adventuring with them. The Camelossus is here to pick us up, just in time so we can put this piece of the painting into the picture frame. All right, so what is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that is pretty cool. Hang on, that reminds me of something actually. Uh, <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below what that reminds you guys of. Uh, I definitely have something in mind. Very iconic series. Okay. <laughs> Camelossus. I love the name too. Like this one. Okay, uh, so this, now we can loot. Ooh, what is this? A sprite do. You can unlock artifact pointer of fate. Alright, that's cool. And I think we got some summons, right, as well. Okay, so there are things called waystones. And uh, if I click on the map here, now look how seamless this transition is to the map, right? So waystones are ways to teleport around. And apparently these are what these are places I have to go explore. Oh my god. Look at that. Level 51. What? I am definitely not... <laughs> I am definitely not uh, leveled high enough for it. But look, look at this. Look at the smooth transition that you can get from a map to the world. Right? Oops. Let's see, where, where am I? There we go. You, you can't look at the unlocked world, but look at that. Just going from the map to the world is just a seamless transition. You can just scroll right back in. Right? absolutely beautiful here and we can keep on exploring now you can go where they tell you to go or you can explore off the beaten path and kind of check out the surroundings sometimes there's little hidden uh, treasures and puzzles and things tucked away so you definitely they definitely want to encourage you to check things out so you, sometimes you don't have to go to every single you just you don't have to follow that glowing pathway you can go off and uh, do your own thing right Okay, so we're going to continue here and I believe, ah, okay, so this allows us to, it's a teleport waypoint, right? So you can go around and teleport to various places that you've already been to, uh, but I don't think I want to go there now. Let us uh, take a look at this. Yep, this is where we're supposed to go. Okay, and uh, yes, so there we go, this artifact here, we can activate this. Ooh, got the pointer fate. We got more attack speed and more health. Hey, I am not going to be complaining about that. Attack speed of one allied here on the back lines increased by 80 for 15 seconds. That sounds pretty good. The buffed allies can gain control immunity. That's also very nice. Okay, yeah. Fantastic here. So, yeah, pointer fate or have the summer harp. I think the this is definitely better for right now. Uh, for this, at five seconds after, you summon radiant life. Oh, okay. So this is my, um, I guess my character's abilities, right? Uh, Summer Harp is actually an ability I had where I can heal. I can help support the team and heal as well. But yeah, that's definitely going to be better for me right now. Let's go ahead and, again, look, look how fast this is. It just takes a couple seconds to go into every class and just quick equip everything. And you don't have to waste, you know, 30, 40, 50 minutes, 2 hours re-gearing all of your characters. Especially um, when you're, you know, just trying to play the game, right? You want the content. You're not just there to, to throw 
throw gear um, on units all day. So we can transfer this to the waypoint. Ooh, actually, I don't know if I want to do that. Is it right here? It's, it's literally right here. Okay. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Okay. We can actually put this... Can we put this in? Where is it? Okay. Portrait memories. I don't think so. I don't think we have it right now. All right, let's go back. With that being said, though, guys, I mean, this is a pretty good point to leave things off. So, uh, if you are interested in AFK Journey, it is going to be releasing next year in 2024, near the beginning of the year, uh, for you guys to play and test out for yourselves. Now, if you want to pre-register for the game, links to that and other resources are going to be in the description down below. So, I highly recommend you go ahead and check them out. With that said, though, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe for more afk journey content and until next time take care